So hello everybody, um, I'm here with Martin and he he's one of the founders and investors of Phone. So I would love to learn more about what's the status, how many users do you have, how many hotspots are out there who are public to use. Okay, uh, in Germany or the whole world? The whole world. Okay, we'll start with the world. We have 300,000 hotspots now functioning, which is, makes us actually uh, 50, 10 times larger than T-Mobile, which your, re your viewers are familiar with. And um, we have, uh, but we're not doing very well in Germany. That's the bad news. We're doing super well in France, very well in the UK, okay. very well in Portugal, reasonably well in Spain. And I've been trying to understand. So if you want, you can send an email, martin at phone.com and try to explain to me what are we doing wrong in Germany. I have a theory that is, relates to sharing. I have a sense that German people are more about savings. I look at all the companies that promote savings, like Aldi, Media Market, all these companies, all these German companies about savings and practicality. So maybe we should change the message in Germany and we should say that if you don't share a little of Wi-Fi at home and you roam the world for free, maybe we should say make money with your Wi-Fi and save money with your Wi-Fi. Okay. And that maybe will help better. So, what will happen in the next couple of years? What well, do you expect? We, we, we certainly want to turn Germany around, and I'm talking to telecom operators. The key success of phone really has been partly the community, but a lot working with British Telecom, working with uh, SFR NEF uh, in France, working with Zone in Portugal. Um, so, I, I, I'm hoping to work with a telecom operator in Germany so uh, we can grow as fast as the other countries. Uh, phone grows through selling Foneras and we're launching a new Fonera that's called the Fonera 2.0 and it's a Wi-Fi router that will uh, allow you to download and upload videos directly from your router. It will also allow you to back up all your videos and do your storage uh, on your router. So it's sort of a smart router. It's not only a social router like the Fonera, but it's also a smart router. And it's for sale now at phone.com, but only for coders. Only, you should only buy now if you are a coder, if you are a hacker, and you write code. If not, you have to wait until February, when we launch it for everyone else, and it will have a lot of applications with YouTube, Flickr, and all the sites you like. Okay, and how's the development in uh, like emerging countries, Africa or India? Are well, you present there? No, or? we are not present in emerging countries and, and that is because for phone to exist we have to build over DSL, fiber optic or cable networks and the cable networks, uh, DSL, fiber optics in let's say Africa are very poor. In less developed countries, I act through my foundation, the Varsavsky Foundation. I have done a lot of work connecting the School of Argentina and Chile to the internet, connecting them with Wi-Fi, connecting them over whatever means, satellite, sometimes in the borders, in the mountains. So the work in emerging economies I've done more through my foundation than through phone. Okay. And it's not for profit, obviously. <laughs> So, and if somebody wants to join Phone, what does he need to go? All you to do, do is you go to phone.com and you buy a Fonera and you, I was going to say share a little Wi Fi, <laughs> but I should say you save money and you roam the world for free and you can even make money because when other people connect to you, you make uh, two and a half euros every time somebody connects to you if you choose to become a bill and you can actually save on your DSL connection. Let's try this message, see how it works. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thank